Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our weekly recipe. On today's recipe, I'll be showing you how to properly make your Nigeria fried rice and how to properly season your protein to achieve a very rich stock that you can use for your fried rice, your jollof rice and also your stews. Please do wait to watch this video to the end as I'm here to give you the best and also share all my top top secrets with you. I'm using chicken for this recipe. We start by processing some pepper, some garlic and ginger and also onions. I will just roughly process this. That's what I'll be using to season the protein. After adding that, I'm adding all the rest of my seasoning. You know, I actually started using this seasoning far back three years ago and it has never failed. So any seasoning you saw in this video or you are seeing in this video is something that I've been tested and used <laughs> for a long time and it has never failed. I always have have lovely and yummy chicken after using all this seasoning and they are not too much okay they are not too much little of everything is perfect don't worry i'll put them in the description box so in case you need my own seasoning because everybody have theirs if you need my own seasoning you can decide to go to the market and purchase them okay so don't worry i will write everything in the description box below do wait to check it out so after adding all my seasoning i added salt i added seasoning cube as well i'll just let this boil for a little while before adding water so at first i'm not adding any water i'll let it boil in its own juice before adding water if you watch to this stage thank you so much please do wait to subscribe to my channel to like my video and also to comment it is very very important to me thank you so much so after adding water i will just allow it to boil for about 30 minutes because i'm using parent stock so it's a bit hard so it will boil for about 30 minutes to make sure the chicken is properly cooked before taking it out now for the rice i'm using the frying method i will just add little vegetable oil you saw that pepper we processed there was little left so i just added it to the vegetable oil i allow that to fry properly before adding my rice i am not adding any seasoning to my rice you know i added enough seasoning when i was making my chicken so there's no need to add seasoning to my rice the chicken is ready at this stage i will just take it out then i will strain the juice like the chicken stock i'm going to strain it because we are making fried rice and i don't want any particles to be on it look at this yummy the juiciest chicken i just made the rice is ready i'll just fluff it off and set it aside now for the vegetable i'm going to be frying it but i'll start by frying some sausages you can use liver but i chose to use sausages for this recipe i'm not a fan of liver i'm sorry so i chose to use sausages i'll just fry that for a little bit then proceed to frying the vegetable for the vegetable i'm starting with the green peas because i feel it is harder than the rest of the vegetable after the green peas i'll add my carrots then proceed to adding all the rest vegetable in no particular order okay so i'll just let them fry for a few minutes I don't like my vegetable overly done i like it a bit sweet so i'll just fry it for a few minutes before adding my already cooked rice this rice is about 85 percent cooked okay so it's not like it's overly cooked it's about 85 percent cooked while you are making rice for fried rice you are not expected to overly cook it if not you are just going to have a soggy rice and a mashy rice and that's not it's not good for fried rice okay so after i did that just stay together and add the fried sausages and of course your yummy fried rice is ready this is christmas worthy fried rice if you are trying to make nigeria fried rice this should be on your menu just the way i made it you should do it to make it like this and please please subscribe to my channel do it to like my video it means so much to me and thank you so much our old subscribers and new subscribers you are highly welcome 
thank you so much for watching this particular video and i'll see you in the next episode thank you and have a lovely lovely weekend bye <laughs>